Welcome again, everybody, uh, back to the Saturday Night Live uh, Cosmic Obsession Observatory broadcast. Right now, you're looking at M20, the Trippet Nebula. We're about to move over to a new object, but it'll take a moment or two before we get there. Um, for anyone who watches the videos, you don't have Saturday Night free, so you can come to the channel and check out what we saw Saturday night. And if you do have Saturday Night free or an upcoming one, be sure to join us on the Nice Guys Network where you can come and chat with us and join us in our commentary on the objects that we see. Um, right now, it's 10.50 p.m. Central Time, 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time. That would be uh, just about 5 a.m. UTC time. We saw, we've gone to a lot of objects tonight. Um, I don't even know if I can recount them, but... Uh, Probably for me, the most important object was C4-2014E2, Jacquez, the comet. So we got a chance to see the comet uh, through our telescope. I did not take a screen capture because I was, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, but um, definitely I'm going to have to remember to do that the next time I get to the comets because that's uh, a good part of the reason why we come and, and enjoy these shows. This image of the Trippet Nebula is really, really wonderful to me. You get to see the features, uh, dark areas, red regions, blue regions. They're all uh, uh, different and different types of nebula. Emissions nebula, gas nebula, dark region nebula. Oh, we're going to be changing to the pillars of creation here now. This is the Eagle Nebula, right? Yes. The Eagle Nebula will be next. And here we do. Ooh, right away we have a nice shot of it. The Pillars of Creation. We hope that you enjoy the shots that we produce. We do enjoy bringing them to you. Good night, Doc. I'd like to find, I think I'm set up on a pixel on my uh, guider. Let me see if I can get another guide star. We're going to adjust to a new guide star. Bob has perfected the techniques that work the best with the software and the telescope. I get to, uh, no, I get to operate as well on some of the objects, the comets and a lot of these objects that I, that I bring to the table. He uh, puts me to work. What we're going to do is stack probably three frames. It'll smooth, uh, smooth out the background and really smooth out the uh, I don't know why it's shifting so much. Some more another pixel. That's a strange on the guy. I don't know if I'm kind of kind of dragging and flat. We might have that one. We might have a few little puppies out there. We do. I saw some puppies. That's what the guy is doing. Right. Fighting. Anyway, we're going we're going to try to do a, a, a stack three frames so we can smooth out the image. I'm just brightening this a I know from experience that uh, it darkens it enough that we need to do that. I'm going to increase the integration. Seven seconds. Hey Ed, how are you, sir? Okay, let me.
Hey everyone, here's tonight's view from inside the Cosmic Protection Observatory. We're presently at the uh, Eagle Nebula. Give you a chance to see inside what's going on. And my software is acting itself. Maybe we'll do a refresh. Have a quick show. We'll uh, check back with you in a few minutes. Not sure, uh, I didn't do a, a refresh in my video control. I'm not working. Wow. Three minutes. Such a nice shot, though, right there, isn't it? Yeah, it would be a whole lot better if I could just uh, stack and smooth that thing out with really nice ones. Oh, we changed. It changed. Yeah. Change. Ah, you know what, what the deal is? You locked out something? No, so it actually started. It, 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 it's frame stacking. That's so once it starts stacking, you, you can't do, do out. You can't yeah. do crap, bro. So how many frames do you ever stack and you can stack? Three. Three? Uh, and actually, uh, I've only got two on it now because, uh, I didn't know what was happening. I didn't get a chance to change it. Maybe that's what we're going to do. What happens is you add more frames. It takes longer, but it gets smoother and smoother. And more. It looks like a magazine slick. Try to find it somewhere. Let's see where it, well, well, it can go. Let's drive it. Uh, guys, if y'all hang on with me for a bit, but I'm going to try it. I haven't got to try this yet. Uh, this HDR, uh, HDR option, which is a high dynamic range option, uh, in conjunction with the frame stacking. I'd like to try that. And I've, I've noticed Don, when he, I, I believe it's, uh, it, it comes from this function where he gets the three images on the side and you can see them building differently, uh, as the integration is going along. And I'm thinking that's with the HDR option. I'd like to try that real quick. Thank you, Ed. So I'm going to kill, uh, kill this image just for a second. I need to take the uh, stacking off first. Okay, I've got stacking turned off. I've got the, uh, let me turn uh, the integration off for a second. Right now we're setting up so that we can come back and stack images and integrate and stack at the same time which will layer our uh, captures which will really bring out the uh, finer details and really produces uh, the highest quality image so just sit back with us right now it's 8 15 so we'll definitely have enough time left for the video to catch the results so don't worry this is just part of the show Right now we're going to be waiting on 70 second iteration. I'm, I'm still not I'm just sure how it works. I have not used it yet. I tried to use it one night and then I, I, I couldn't figure it out. Thank you for dropping by, Ed. Uh, you say you're not home yet. If you're still driving, be, be careful, sir. Good night, Ed. Are you stacking right now? No. Yeah, we gotta get some money just to stack it, right? Well, when I'm in diamond frames, it doesn't stack out. Or does it? I'm afraid to find out. 
there's just something really funky the other night. I'm not sure how to run. I'm still not doing something right, but when, when Don's doing whatever he's doing with the HDR, it brings up three images over here on the side, and it shows you the as it is now, as the next one should be, and as it's going to be. Yeah. One of those things. It's a nice image on the screen still right now. Let's see what happens. If there's a seven second integration, it's not working. I thought it refreshed. Yeah, I thought it refreshed too, but I'm not. This is not working or something. 70 to 70. Snip on that. See, I'm supposed to have three images. And when you got HDR on, it's like, whatever you set this to, it's, it adds like a, a certain percentage more to get one of the, uh, one of the, you know, the coming frames. Right? Right. But I ain't figured that out yet, so I need to get somebody to explain that to me. I don't, I ain't got to work even know whether it's worth doing or not. I don't have any options. I'm almost afraid to change this. Well, you got it on zero range, so maybe it's not producing for you even though it's zero range. Well, I mean, when it's, when you have it, uh, turned on and I have something set here. I think it's supposed to get those three frames. I don't know why it's not. If it's on now, it should be getting the three frames. Whether it's doing anything, it's doing not. It's already gotten smoother. It's gotten some of the grain. That's what's this next one. I'll go ahead and change it to five frames. Let's start all the so, yeah. But, wait till you see the fifth one. I actually did a 10 frame on that. It was un unbelievable. Did you end up going to Turbo? Did you go to Turbo? Yes. I'm just, just now getting over it. It's, you know, if you go there and you spend a night and come back the next day, it's not bad. But when you do it all in one day, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is brutal. It is brutal. That's your whole day, right there. Yeah, but most of them didn't drive. Yeah. That's 10 hours of driving. Yeah. Uh, that was key. I'm too not lucky to do that. I was about to fall asleep. That boy on that road and that home. I right? definitely fight it. I'm done. Now, now that we got the shop just about done, whenever we get power and water complete, we'll see next week, hopefully. Uh, we're going to get a little uh, camper or something yeah. out of either travel trailer, exactly. cheap cat travel trailer, or a car up. At least spend a night there. Really get somebody's definition on this one. Wait, wait till you see it. Wait till you see the fifth. I'm not sure what it's beyond doing. Why don't you put a range in there? Maybe it's a good time. But I did the other night and did something really funky. Yes. yes. It, 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 it either it, it, it like doubles it or, or one and a half times what I had integration. It physically changed my integration I started with. It was like 90 seconds. And then 120 seconds. But it never showed those frames on the side. Sorry guys, I'm trying to play with some of the controls on the uh, uh, Milo, which I haven't got to work yet, and I still haven't, I don't believe. I've got HDR range, some on, but I'm not sure why I've got the uh, range setting correct or the level settings correct within HDR to make a difference. We're coming to the end of this segment. This is the Eagle Nebula. We're enjoying the view. We hope you are too. Uh, remember, you can always catch us live on the Nice Guys Network every Saturday night that it's clear. I'll come back and make another capture of what's going on after this one finishes and uploads. You all have, I hope you have a good evening or are having a good evening. I actually hope that you're with us live right now and you're going to watch this later.